In the problem below, identify the given value as a statistic or a parameter. So what we have to think about to answer this question is um, the difference between a statistic and a parameter. The thing to remember is that a statistic comes from a sample. A parameter comes from the population. Try to remember S for sample, S for statistic, and P for population, P for parameter. But basically, when you read the problems, you're going to hear something like an average or proportion reported, and you're going to try to look at um, where it came from. If it came from a sample, it's a statistic. If it came from the population, it's a parameter. In order to get something from the population, you have to conduct a census of the population. A census means you've looked at every single member of the population. And in that, in that case, when you calculate something like an average, you've calculated a parameter. So let's read through these examples one by one and find the key phrase that will identify whether it's a statistic or a parameter. Starting with the first one, it says a study of every national park's sales receipts for August shows they bought in, brought in an average of $10 million of revenue. So when I read this, I see this phrase, every national park's sales receipts. The phrase every means they looked at every single member of the population. So I'm going to say that this average that they've calculated is a parameter. So I will put P next to it to indicate it's a parameter. In the next problem, it says 60 male shoppers at Aventura Mall were randomly chosen and their waistlines were measured, revealing an average waist size of 37 inches. So when I look at that one, I see, well, only 60 male shoppers were surveyed. If it's only 60, it's not the population. It's going to be, in this case, something that's calculated from a sample. So it is a statistic. So I'm going to say S for statistic. All right, the next one, it says, a study of all homes sold at auction in Miami last year showed that the average sale price for such homes was $109,823. This phrase right here, a study of all homes sold at auction, every home. This, is mean, this means it's a census, and therefore, um, this is a population parameter. It comes from the population, so we'll call it a parameter, P for parameter. All right, next example. 500 Americans were randomly chosen and asked if they think the U.S. should drill for oil off of its coast, and 72% said they were not in favor of drilling. 500 Americans is certainly not the entire population. This is just a sample, right? So if it's a sample, the thing they calculated from it, in this case a proportion, that proportion turns out to be a statistic. Lastly, after reviewing the arrival times of every flight that landed at MIA last month, it was determined that the on-time rate for flights into MIA was 68%. So here we see that they reviewed every flight, right? The times of every flight. So this percentage, 68%, is a population parameter.